Uh, good afternoon or good evening to brothers that may be viewing this webinar presentation. We'd like to thank you for taking time out of your schedule to join us for an overview of a Voteless People to Hopeless People Implementation Guide. Actually, there will be several steps we'll cover today. The first one will be a review of the presentation guide to make the brothers and the community aware of what our five program execution areas are. Then we'll cover a session on how to use the SurveyMonkey tool, which will allow chapters to report their activities. Then we'll also share with you information on the national website on how to connect with the Voteless Peoples of Hopeless People national program and additional supporting links. So with that in mind, I'd like to get started. One of the key things that we must keep in mind that as we are involved in the political process is that we must maintain the integrity of our tax status. So therefore, as we engage communities and other chapters, we want to make sure that in this process that we're always neutral, that we do not endorse any political party or individuals for public office. Just as some, a brief background slide, under General President Tillman's, one of his visions during his election was fighting on the ice, which he reiterated at the National Convention in Austin. The four committees you see there are, in essence, the committees that work in conjunction with each other to help promote fighting on the ice vision. As a part of that, the Voteless People's Hopeless People Committee is providing the following presentation to assist chapters to engage not only in voter registration, but to look at the expanded role that Brother General President Timmon has in terms of fighting on the ice and expanding this committee to doing more than just voter registration drives. As we keep in mind the theme of fighting on the ice, that during the current political environment, the challenge is in front of us all to make sure that we're engaged not only in the political process, but that we're also communicating to members of the community and organizations the importance of the program areas that we're going to cover next. The first is on public issue forms. Recently, with the enactment of the health care legislation, there may be communities that want to know more about how does new health care legislation impact their community. This would be one area that a chapter could promote a public issue form. There may be issues relative to your community on current legislative activities they may impact a school district or local legislation. So public issue forums are tools to educate the public aware of issues that are important to them. You will see on these slides that there will be additional links. And I will just use this one as an example. If, in fact, you select this link, it will take you to additional information. So if, in fact, you're presenting this in a area where you have access to um, internet via Wi-Fi, you'd be able now to drill down and talk more about how you coordinate a public issue forum. So I'm going to close this. And depending upon this tool, I may have to bounce back into the slide deck. So once again, public issue forms is one of the key areas of program execution. Next, we have candidate forms and or debate watch. Clearly, with the elections coming up November 5th in this current election cycle, it's important that we're aware of what's going on in our communities. So therefore, if in fact you have candidates try to organize a debate so they can be in front of the community with their issues. Also, as you'll see here, there is another link which will actually take you through uh, steps about more information about how to coordinate uh, can of forms or debate watch. Voter education. Voter education is critical in that people need to understand the issues. Because we are nonpartisan, we are trying to provide a tool to the community in terms of voter education and voter registration drives. But clearly, it's important for people to know the issues and what each candidate is proposing. So therefore, people in the community can make their own best decision as to who best represents their political interests. So voter education is something that's very critical to the community. Voter registration drives. Voter registration drives uh, vary by state. So it's important that you work with your Secretary of State's office to understand what is required to do a voter registration drive. In some states, as the case in Colorado, 
you must go to an online training class and then pass a test to be authorized as a voter registration drive organizer or agent. That also may be the case in Florida. In other states, you can only register either online or at your state's motor vehicle registration office. So once again, it's important to understand how you are required to register to vote. And further in this presentation, we will have uh, show you some tools that allow you to figure out what's required for your state. Keep in mind the uh, election coming up November 5th. There are a number of mayoral elections occurring on that date. And also we have two governor races. The next two major election cycles will be the uh, midterm elections in 2014. There will also be two, actually several governor elections elections in November of 2015 and then 2016 we're back to the presidential election cycle where you can see once again the number of uh, house seats that will be up on so the number of house representatives will be all up for re-election and at that time it will be 11 governor races as well. So voter registration should be something that each chapter should be focused on each year and would submit to you that a target population would be both the high schools in your communities and in fact you have college campuses to engage college students in the voter registration process. Once again, voter registration drives, they are subject to various state legislation and recommendations, and we'll show you tools that we have available to help you understand how to conduct voter registration drives. Keep in mind, a key point of voter registration is that there have been restrictions that have been put in various communities to basically either to limit or inhibit the ability of African Americans and minorities to vote. So it's important that we do not let these impediments stop us from getting our community registered to vote. As a case in point, a member of my committee, uh, Brother Harkless, he had this uh, poll tax receipt which was uh, required of his grandparents. So even though this was dated 1963. Here we are at 2013, and we still have restrict registering to vote. In essence, now it's no longer a poll tax. In certain states, it is a voter registration ID and the fact that you need to have identification. But to get that identification, you may be required to get a birth certificate or show other identification, which may cost you. In certain states, if you're a senior citizen, there may be a fees waived because you're a senior citizen. So once again, it's important to understand what your individual states require go off to, to voter registration. And at all costs, we should not let these inhibitors stop us from getting our people registered. So based upon these other prior four strategies, so in essence, educating people, making them aware of the issues, getting them ready to vote, understanding where their polling places are, it's important on the day of the, rest of the vote or if in fact your state is a mail-in ballot state that people do get out and vote. So once again, this is another area where chefs can be very critical is on arranging voter turnout programs to help get out the vote on election day. So once again, to the Brotherhood, these are the five program areas. And clearly the expectation is if a chapter can support all five of these program execution areas, that would be great. We'd love to see each chapter do that. But as a minimum, each chapter should be expected to do at least one of these five activities each year. And next I'll share how we will capture the information. But once again, brothers, the whole issue is if you can do all five, that's great as a chapter or individually. But at a minimum, each chapter should be able to do at least one of these events. In terms of the National Committee, we really look at uh, two areas of engaging the brothers. One is at the National Committee level. As you can see on this chart, we do have positions that are still available at the national level. If, in fact, you'd be interested in serving the National Committee, we're indicated, please send a cover letter and a resume uh, to Brother Jones at the VPHP at A5-1906.net. I will forward your resume and application to the General President. He will then make the decision, and if approved, I will get back to you to let you know that you're on the National Committee. The next area of support that we're looking for is really at the regional and state level. So if, in fact, 
in the programs that we're talking about and like the case at the state level, we also ask you to submit a resume and a cover letter and a state that you'd like to be that focal point for. So as we begin to continue to roll up ramps, the regional contact from the National Committee would be working with you at the regional and state level to assist in ensuring we're executing these five program execution areas. In summary, if you have any questions or concerns about this presentation, please feel free to send me an email. Once you get to VPHP at AFIA1906.net, and I'll respond to you promptly. Once again, brothers, it's important to remember our tax status, and we should not jeopardize the paternity. So please always make sure that you are doing these in a, in a nonpartisan way and that you're not making any recommendations or endorsements for any political party or candidate. The next area which I'd like to cover is the reporting of your events. In 2012, we used a survey monkey tool to collect the information. We've modified this tool going forward in 2013 to allow us to collect more pertinent information in terms of program execution areas and the supporting documentation related to these different five areas. So SurveyMonkey tool is a reporting tool that once you host an event of those five program execution areas, please use the SurveyMonkey tool to report your results. This is a slide deck showing you the template of what you would see once you sign the Survey Monkey. You'd see that we have highlighted here uh, the chapter name, also region. If in fact you have your chapter key, um, if you have that information, that would be nice to add, but it's not required. You will see that when there are drop down arrows, there's more information that will be available to you to select from. So. In this case, the drop down arrow would be the regions. You would select the appropriate region. Also, in the event box, you would select the appropriate event that you are hosting. So we've tried to capture the five program execution areas. So whenever you host an event, select, select what event you're hosting and enter that information there. Also going forward, in 2014, we will be working with selected states that have a representation in their house of African-American representatives uh, and others to work on state capital visit day. And we'll be providing our information at the beginning of 2014 on how we expect to roll that out in various states. So once you host your event, we'd ask you to include the date the event was hosted provide contact information of who's hosting or who's the focal point for a coordinated event. Likewise, information where that event was held. As you can see here in item number nine, we're also looking at chapters partnering with other organizations in hosting these events as we try to expand the footprint of Alpha Phi Alpha in the community and working with other groups. Recently, we did an event with the Alpha Kappa Alpha sorority, so here in Colorado we would check that box. Also, if you work with an entity that we don't have listed, you can put their name or names in this other box here as well. We also like to keep track of how many people that we've actually touched in these events. So if it's an event, we'd like you to provide the head count. If you're doing a voter registration drive, then provide us the number of registered voters that you uh, were able to do. Additionally, there may be costs involved with these events, so we're also trying to track the expenditures as well per chapter. For instance, one chapter recently made an inquiry about getting door hangers. So they want to actually put door hangers in their community to remind people to get out to vote on Election Day. We're providing that information to that chapter, but likewise, that information will also be available on the VPHP website under the national uh, website and additional information will be provided in other deliverables that will be available to the brothers. All you will see in the implementation guide, there is one chapter in Peoria, Illinois, Alumni chapter that actually purchased a billboard in the community to encourage people to get out and vote. So it's important that we try to capture the expenses. And also you have a total amount here of what you actually spent for that event. Also, if in fact we'd like for you to take a uh, pictures of this event that you're um, promoting 
and if possible, send the photographs and a brief write-up to the uh, email address you have there because we like to capture this information and possibly use it in future Sphinx magazines or National Flashes. So once you complete this information, it's simply a matter of clicking done, and your information will be processed to SurveyMonkey. And once there, we will periodically do downloads where we will capture the information and then do the analysis to begin to track by region, by chapter participation. So we'd ask that once you complete your event, as soon as possible, go to SurveyMonkey to input your data while the information is still fresh in your mind. The next area that we're going to cover will be when you actually go into the Alpha Phi Alpha website and to drill down on the link that provides you more detailed information about the program and other links associated with the Voltless People of Hopeless People. So on the website, you would actually go to this individual link here, select that link. It would then provide you with additional information on national programs and partnerships. You would select the Voltless People to Hopeless People link. Once at that link, you would now see more information that pertains to this national program. Also, we'll be adding additional information here as time um, progresses. One area is deliverables. In the area of deliverables, for instance, if you want to download the First of All We Vote logo, if in fact the door hangers would be of interest to you, those things would be deliverables and they'd be located here. There's also more voter information links, which is in this area. It's very user friendly, we believe. It's a matter of just clicking to advance to the appropriate screen. One of the key screens that we have here is provided by the National Urban League. As you will see here, that once you select this link, you then can go to another link where you'll see this picture of all 50 states. Click on that link. And then once in that link, you can move your cursor and it will highlight the individual state your cursor is on in red. Once it's highlight the state that you want, you can select that state. And then it will give you more drill down information about the voting requirements for that individual state. You then just a matter of uh, collecting the arrows to get more information. So when you can vote, you click on the double arrow, provides additional information to Depending on the state, certain states, you're convicted on. Once you've completed your um, probation and your sentence or parole, you stay at the vote. So it's important to understand what the information is for your individual state. This gives more information about the information in Colorado in terms of what is required for registration and examples. If, in fact, you want to go back to review additional states, you go to In Your State View, click on that button, and it would take you back where you can select the individual state you want to look at. So once again, this page is going to be very valuable to the chapter to understand what the current um, links are available to you and additional information concerning the Baltimore people as a hopeless people. Also, we have an implementation guide, which is also on the same link, which gives you more information about the history of the national program, Voters, People, Hopeless People, and additional information to assist your chapters in coordinating events relative to the program execution areas. At this time, I'd actually like to go into the Alpha website to now actually take you through the actual linkage the national program. So here we are at the national website. You go to programs and partnerships, just click on the main gold button there. All right, very good. So once again, brothers, once you go to the Alpha, Alpha web page, click on programs and partnerships, you'll see here a Voltless People's a Hopeless People link. Click on that. And now you can see once again the items that we talked about. One I'd like to draw your attention to is first the implementation guide.
The implementation guide gives you information about our programs. One of the things that's going to be important, I can draw your attention to this page. As you can see here, we included once again the uh, illustration of the poll tax receipt, information about the first of all we vote. You'll see an example of the billboard that was uh, submitted uh, by the Peoria chapter. And here you can see where a number of by chapter for 2012. That's important to use a survey monkey tool so we can capture this information. So this is a good reference to understand the overall curriculum for, first of all, we evolve program. The next area I'd like to take you to is use National Urban, which I was earlier with, which has the 50 state. So as you can see here, we're in the example, the screen captured earlier. You want to advance down to, be, to this particular launch this site. And so, the, so in particular here, we see if you have a felony conviction, select the double arrow. And here you get more information about the requirements. Also, if you have information about identification requirement, you can click on the dial down buttons to get information. So this is very helpful. We appreciate the Urban League in actually putting this tool together. I think it's going to be very helpful to the Brotherhood as we try to understand what the requirements are by state. For us to use the tool. So now we're back into the Voltage People's Hopeless People uh, specific website. What we shared with you is the implementation guide. The curriculum guide, which we start the presentation with, gives you basically the overview of the five program execution areas. It takes you through how to use the Survey Monkey tool and also how to begin to navigate this website that you're on. Here you'll find a survey monkey tool which you would actually launch to actually fill in the, the the survey tool which will capture your program area that you provide the support on also who you partner with during that event if anyone and also this should be used by both college and alumni brothers when they host events here you can see the deliverable section we'll be adding more information to this area as time permits we covered this voter information section, which gives you more drill done information. This National Urban League site should be a priority site chapter should use to understand the voting requirements in individual states. And as you can see here, additional information, additional links that are provided. In summary, if you have any questions, once again, please feel free to send an email, email address for the National Committee Chair and we'll be more happy to respond to any questions that you have. This concludes the Butler's People's Hopeless People overview program, implementation, execution, and a review of the website. Thank you very much for your participation.